Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's Adam here from Future Set Mortgage Broking, bringing you property finance insights where we deep dive into a topic of choice. Um, and today we're sort of uh, just talking about what happens when your fixed rate expires. Um, obviously, quite an important topic at this point in time, given the market. Um, so, do you, do you know when your fixed term rate is coming to an end? Is the first question. Um, if you don't know that, you should definitely uh, check out when that expiry date is. Um, basically, once it finishes, the bank is free to quietly switch you to a high interest rate unless you act fast. So think of how costly it could be if you simply let the bank choose the interest rate for you. If your bank changes you just your rate by just say 0.5%, more than the competitive interest rates, this adds, adds up to a significant amount of the term of your loan. So you can save yourself a great deal of money and perhaps even cut years off your loan if you are proactive about monitoring interest, interest rates and choosing the right option for you. Switching to a variable, so a variable rate can be a great option if you want to take advantage of lower interest rates potentially, or if you want the flexibility to redraw or make extra repayments. When your fixed rate term expires, um, the bank will automatically switch you to the bank standard variable rate. So do some research um, to find out whether this is a competitive rate um, for you. If not, you can talk to your bank and try negotiating a better, a better deal. And if they didn't offer you a competitive rate, then you can potentially switch switch lenders. Lenders uh, sort of generally prefer to negotiate rather than lose a customer. So while they don't generally make their best offers to customers with a proven history of loyalty, um, it's always worth just having that conversation. So when it comes to your interest rate, stay alert and ask questions and basically try to keep your lender busy, um, trying to keep you happy. Another option maybe is to extend your fixed rate. So the option is to ask the bank to refix your home loan, extending it for another one, three, five, or however many years um, that you require. The fixed rate is a good option for you if you are planning to pay off your loan steadily over a long period of time and you want each mortgage payment to be a regular amount that you can budget more precisely. Fixed, rate, um, fixed rates protect you from rate rises and you could be paying less than the available rate potentially. However, there's also the risk that you could end up uh, paying higher than the market rate if you're locked into an outdated fixed interest term. Um, there may also be break fees if you change or pay off your loan within the fixed period. So this means the fixed rate is not potentially a good option for you or anyone planning to if they're planning to sell the home or sell your home. As always though, it's best to talk to a mortgage broker first, get an assessment done, it's, it's a free to do an assessment, understand your, 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 the bigger picture, what your longer term goals are, how to sort of uh, better your shorter term situation and short term goals. And if you feel like you want to have a chat with myself, feel free to um, just sort of click the button below or the link booking for an initial chat and I'm more than happy to sort of uh, get that sort of assessment started for you. Um, yeah, uh, for the now though, have a great week and um, if you want to reach out, feel free to feel free to do so and I'll chat to you again very soon.